Hello everyone, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we have something pretty awesome for you guys. We're going to be doing some a few battles. I got a new deck from last time which is super awesome because I kind of needed a better deck. But overall I feel like this new deck is working a lot better. So we're going to request well, mini P.E.K.K.A. because you know what guys, I don't know if it's actually like good to request rares um, because it takes so long for them to level up. But if you do request rares guys, I mean just be careful, I don't know, I haven't done the math yet. But anyway guys, this is the deck we've been using and I, I would say it's went, it, it, it's gone pretty well actually. I got in a ton of stuff, I've won a few battles, I kind of dropped down to like 2600, I mean these last couple days, I mean... Yesterday I dropped down to 2600. I don't even know if I won any battles yesterday. I just lost over and over again because before that day I was up at 2920 and I was almost to legendary. I was 80 cups away. Um, and then I dropped down to like 26 and now I'm finally able to push back up to 28. Almost at 28.50. But anyway, guys, let's show you guys some replays. Here we go, guys. This is the first battle out of all the battles. Um, and he was actually using a spawner deck. And you guys know how much I hate them spawner decks. Um, but it started out not very good. But anyway, I have the Lava Hound. I'm just going to go straight in with this rush. I'm going to show you how to use this rush, even though some of you guys probably do not have the Lava Hound. What is don't want to use a Lava Hound? I mean, why wouldn't you want to use a Lava Hound? I mean, it's like so good. A lot of people would disagree with that statement. But anyway, guys, usually the first Lava Hound rush is a failure. Um, it's either an enormous success because they don't know how to defend against it, or it's a humongous failure. And in this case, I believe it was a failure. Oh, no. It looks like it's going to be a success. Yeah. I just cleaned his tower down. He did drop a fireball. But overall, that was a very good first uh, rush. And as soon as that guy breaks, boom. And we're going to take down that tower so quick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There's none left. And then I dropped the fireball. Oh, and I, yeah. It goes on the 40. I misplaced the fireball a tiny little bit. Not meant to do that at all. But we are going to go in with another rush on the right-hand side. And here we go, guys. We're dropping the Lava Hound. The Lava Hound is just going to wipe out everything. Actually, it's not going to because the Lava Hound is like no damage. It's only good against tanking. Um, but, yeah. Still, two barbarians on the left-hand side can do some damage, so that's why we dropped the spear. No, just regular goblins. But anyway, good. anyway, guys, we're going in with a rush on the right-hand side. He didn't do anything to defend it. What the heck, bro? I don't know what he was uh, thinking, but we were able to take down his tower there, and then we—I uh, don't know what we do next. I this was way earlier today, and I have not a good memory at all. Anyway. We drop the bomber, we take down his, uh, we take down, I, I mirrored the bomber, and we take down his barbarians, and meanwhile, the Lava Hound just tearing down that elixir collector. I did drop a fireball, probably a waste. What you want to do, guys, against spawner decks is just pressure them, just pressure them. Do not let them, like, defend, because they're just going to keep dropping stuff down. You just need to be able to defend, uh, after the minute zone, um, that's when they actually start spamming everything, and... Yeah, it, it, you just need to just keep keep them pressured because they don't really have good towers. But I did do the fireball and hit both of the elixir collectors and we were able to take down that tower, which is awesome. I just did a mere fireball for fun um, because it's pretty much a victory by now. Like, there's pretty much no way this guy could beat me. Well, actually, there's always a way I could do some serious mistake. Like on the left-hand side, if I didn't drop that bomber, that would have been a mistake. But you know what, guys? I'm not that dumb. So I did drop the bomber, and he just goes ham on those barbarians. We dropped the lava hound at the very end. He keeps laughing at me, and I just say, good game, man, because, you know what? I'm a good player. Um, that did not come out right. I'm good at this game. I'm good at playing this game. Here we go, guys. This is the next battle. We are challenging the Con Twins. We're challenging the Con Twins. We'll see how we do. Um, and he is a level 8. So, I mean, that's pretty good against on my side, but bad on his side. And, um, yeah, as you can see, there is Sparky. He gets a Sparky next. And this guy was using a Sparky deck, guys. He was using a Sparky deck. He drops his giant, and at this point, it does not look good for me at all. I'm kind of freaking out here because I don't really know what to do. So I did drop the fireball. It pushes back the musketeer. It kills the archers. Now, I could have done the arrows. But I just wanted to save my arrows um, in case something else came up. 
Um, and I also just had the fireball, so I decided to use it. But he did drop the barbarian, so my mini Pekka, my little Pekka, couldn't get to that tower. And he does like 600 damage. And at this point, guys, I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing? So I kind of hesitated here. I don't know why I was all kept looking and seeing, but I just need to take down that balloon. And he did, he does get a hit off, which kind of stinks. But he drops his wizard, and he just cleans those little whatever they're called the, the the minion horde he just wipes down the minion horde just like boom and then my minion horde just gets one shot at i don't know I, I feel like the wizard should be nerfed i don't know i feel like the wizard is a very powerful troop if you can use it correctly like i, I don't think like if you drop a hog rider then drop the minions behind a hog rider the wizard will just clean the entire area he'll hit the hog rider and he'll hit the air troops what i think guys is the first uh, troop he latches onto that should be the troop that that should be the troop type that you could take out So if he first latches onto the hog rider, then he can't take out the air any air troops like minion horde that would make it super hard Anyway, this sparky needs to go down before it gets a shot off and I was able to do that and right now guys It's not looking good for me at all my uh, Thing just burst and it's just oh my gosh. It's not looking good at all but then our minions and our Goblins get to the tower and you just wipe it down. So at this point, I'm doing better than him. Um, we are at we're holding more elixir than him, and not anymore. But he's trying to get that uh, right hand side. I just dropped uh, or Albert uh, bomber. Oh my gosh, Jimmy and I were just talking about this. He was like, Oh my gosh, Gretchen, remember when you used to call the bomber a wall breaker? And I'm like, Yes, I was so dumb back then. And then I just caught it that, and I was like, No. Anyway, here's what we do we drop the arrows to take down all the troops. That way nothing targets the mini Pekka, but the mini Pekka did get targeted. I was not aware of that. Anyway, the, what you call it, what you call it, the lava hound bursts. And we drop the fireball, and we just clean that tower down. We bring it down to 400. So what do we do now, guys? We're going to try going in with another rush just to take him down. He's going in with a rush on my crown tower. Um... I, the only reason I bet he's doing that, I kind of messed up with the goblins. The only reason I bet he's doing it, that, guys, is d just for the sole purpose of uh, just avoiding my rush because he, it helps you a lot more. He just tried to tried to do that, guys. But anyway, my lava hound is just doing some work on the tower, and we're just coming in. And he was not like he was just trying to through crown me before I took down that tower because he knew I was gonna take down the tower so that's what his goal was anyway let's jump on to the last battle here we go guys this is the first live battle of the day hopefully we'll be able to beat this guy um how are we gonna do this we're gonna go in straight in with the lava you know what I said earlier guys the strategy will either win from the very beginning or it will not win at all he dropped the wizard he's not worrying about my rush right now which is kind of scary because usually yep, yep usually I was gonna say usually people like that have something behind a tank troop and he didn't have a tank troop out but we are still going to be able to defend this guy. Oh my gosh, he took down that. Okay, that's that's bad. When he does that, when someone does that against you, that's just like ultimate awful. Um, I could have saved up a few more elixir and dropped. Okay, good. That take down that arsenal. I could have saved up a tad more elixir and dropped uh, uh, a mini pack up. But you know what? This strategy works good. We took his tower down to about 929. He is doing better than me, guys, which is totally fine. Uh, like I said before in other videos, it, it, it's really about that times to it looks so zone and then you start showing off your true shine Anyway, we're moving in with the baby dragon. No, no bad baby dragon I haven't seen someone use the baby dragon in so long. There was this guy who used it against me the other day uh, He he only placed it. He oh my gosh. Don't get a hit off. Don't get it. Oh gosh, dang it. He only only placed it just to combat my 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 uh, lava hound, I can't talk today. Um, but yes, he mistaked there. Oh my gosh, we took down his tower. Yes. Um. We're gonna drop the bomber here. I I know that tower was hooked on, but he does drop that. Hopefully, we'll take down that wizard. Come on, bro. Yes. Super clutch. Good job, bro. Okay, we're dropping our uh. Don't drop errors. Okay. That's not enough. We gotta get a mini pekka down. I know, I know what you're saying, guys. No, Christian, you shouldn't be getting that mini pekka down, but I'm scared. 
background noise. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. And there's so much background noise. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Oh, just nasty stuff, bro. Just nasty stuff. Okay, we're dropping those. And take, take this, take that. Why? Okay, okay, that's why he did that. I was like, why the heck is he dropping arrows? Oh, he just wasted his arrows. Yes, oh my gosh, he's gonna so regret that. He's gonna drop a wizard. Oh, we're gonna drop the fireball. Push him back. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, that's good, that is good. Oh my gosh, we're still gonna take down that tower. Yes, that was the best fireball placement I have ever did in so long. So long. Uh, we'll drop the bomber here. Yes. <laughs> super, super clutch. That guy made a humongous mistake. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> I I really do hope that no viewers, no new viewers will have that last part. Because usually, guys, you guys know me. I'll stay. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. And as always... Oh, we got a uh, crown chest. Let's get a legend, legend, legend. No wizard. Oh, I hate the wizard so much. You guys know that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.